got a lot of windows. We've got 467 stores and then kind of productions like this that we do. Louis Vuitton was an innovator and we really wanted to celebrate innovation. So we approached 200 people that came from all professions, walks of life, crafts that we were looking at. Musicians, poets, scientists. Astrologers. People, people that were growing things. <laughs> We, we approach people that were doing pioneering things and then we've also tried to underpin the, yeah. the, the rest of the experience. Like for our studio, it's kind of how, what our studio is based on. So we're kind of constantly using technology and craftsmanship. In New York, Barney's is an institution. Simon Doonan, someone I hugely admire. Um, and I remember being 18 years old with my hands against the glass, kind of dreaming of doing windows in this space. So it's kind of like a real dream come true. I think New York is so important in the world of windows. It's just really important to get back street theatre into New York streets. Like people have been creating in their bedrooms for the last two years, you know, and it's good to kind of give a platform and a, a kind of space to New York to have fun in again. So probably if you're looking at it, like Peter Marino, he's someone that inspires us greatly. Frank um, Gehry, and Frank Gehry. And um, yeah, and Mark Jacobs and like there's so many. Yeah. Yeah, that is something that, that we've not done in this exhibition before and this is a, well, the fourth stop and the final stop. But what we wanted to do was to take our studio, our London studio and Paris studio, and we've created that in the basement. And the reason it's in the basement is we wanted it to be the foundation of what, what Vuitton is based on, which I think is creativity. And it's a real space for people to create in and make. So we've invited all of the visionaries to come in and do workshops with people. Um, and we've got 25 local schools. Um, and we've got these briefs that every, all the creators got and you'll be able to create your own vessel. This room is quite interesting because it's really where everything started. It's, it's an example of the studios, our studios work. It's, we call it the briefing room. It's where it's a digitised version of the brief that we, that we gave to all of the visionaries. It has uh, Louis Damier on the floor. Because Louis didn't, didn't um, create the monogram. He created the Damier. This one's kind of cool. So this is Willow Perron. So Willow Perron's from Canada, it's Montreal. Willow created this trunk and that's focused on kind of future travel and it's a, a box that expands. expands and contracts. There's lots of uh, references from the archives there. Susan actually did Louis' astrology chart for the day he was born and it was really beautiful. All of the planets inside her trunk were Louis, where the planets were when Louis was born. And I'm, I'm really into all that, so it was great. Frankie Zapata as well, like the flying trunk is amazing. And we flew that through Place Vendôme, uh, which was incredible. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was amazing. This one's a really special trunk just for you to know. So this is Alaska, Alaska. So this was Virgil's um, trunk um, and we worked with his company in uh, London. And Virgil was really instrumental in this project. So when we went to Virgil with the idea, the next day, like after the, after the WhatsApp messages, we, we said, okay, this is the idea of the project. And the next morning he woke up and we had 40, 40 suggestions of who to work with. He was like, guys, this is amazing. Um, so he was really supportive in it. Um, so yeah, it was really important. We have, um, we have his trunk here. And then some of his, his mates as well. Um, there's, there's some amazing trunks from Virgil's friends that are here. And with Virgil, we, create, we, we work together throughout it all the time. Um, it was an ongoing dialogue, constant dialogue on ideas and creation. Yeah, and this is Kim Jones' truck. Of course, um, his supreme collaboration. Um, but yeah, this is in Play Lab, which were amazing. Nigo. Nigo's trunk. Samuel Ross' trunk. Love, it's beautiful. 
yeah, there's so many. The whole thing was kind of came at it from a place of of giving back. Um, yeah, and we did all this in lockdown. Huh? You got to it's kind of good to remember that. I'd really hope they leave full of ideas and an awareness of of how creativity is at the heart of Louis Vuitton and that you can you can participate and like that kind of real heart of Vuitton is like you can dream if you've got an idea you can get the idea out there and you can kind of make projects like this happen so I kind of want people to be inspired and kind of come and work in our team in the future it's an <laughs> recruitment exercise come and work in our team <laughs>